I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, if you notice in the screen, uh, and I posted in Patreon already, that I have a new account and this is the website owned by uh, Trump. It's called truthsocial.com and this is my account there, you see it in the banner. So if you, are, if you like, you can subscribe and I'm really surprised right away I signed in and I get many subscribers immediately uh, uh, so if you like to join us and this is an, like another backup like in case we lost a channel you want to know where Christian Prince is gone you know let us see how it tr you know how the truth will be protected in Trump website we assume that is going to be as they promised to be a place uh, a refuge for the conservative to say their mind so if you if you care to join there you know feel free and you can save the address in case one day you decide to look for me and where to find me. So we have a backup. So again, the, the, the screen is showing you the address. And actually, I have the link underneath of this video and the info. You can click and join and subscribe. And we will use it like a Twitter, you know, in case uh, update and uh, post things. And, you know, we will see. Uh, It's only for US. Well, it's okay. I mean, better than nothing. Uh, maybe in the future they will open it. Maybe for now they are not ready for opening to everybody. It's okay. Uh, yeah, maybe because you are not in the state, your access is denied. Uh, if you are in the state, just make a username and you can join. All right. Uh, and actually, if you have a contact with David Wood, uh, tell him about it, what he will lose, you know. Uh, he should have a backup plan in case he loses a channel and people, they can communicate with him. So, uh, and fair, well, this is not my website, but I can do and fair. <laughs> I don't know, try to use VPN, maybe, maybe if you use VPN, you can log in. Uh, <clears throat> and maybe not, I don't know. Uh, because I think they will ask you even for a phone number, you know. So if you don't have a USA phone number, that will not work too, I think. Uh, guys, don't make a drama about it. It's just a way for a backup in case, you know. So those who live in the USA, if this is only for USA for now, they can tell you, you know. Maybe if you live in Europe, you can have access. I don't know. Like... What about people in Europe? They can have access or not? I'm not sure. Try. Uh, it's just a way of backup. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, 
uh, as you see today we have a topic it is what is islam and actually last friday we took calls from christians right so this friday we will allow christians to call and we will allow muslims to call so either one you know like to join us feel free and we will be happy to take your call uh, the question is what is islam the second you you know you ask a muslim what is islam he will start giving you things that have nothing to do really what islam is about like as an example what is islam they will say to you to worship one god like, what does that mean i mean what, what is islam really uh, to worship one god this is really what islam is so if i believe now in allah this is islam no you have to believe in muhammad so when they try to present to us that Islam is about monotheism and worshiping one God, the truth Islam is not about Allah, it's about Muhammad. Because if you believe in Allah, but you don't believe in Muhammad, you do not join Islam yet. So what the purpose of Islam is not really the God, the purpose of Islam is Muhammad. To be your own God. And I promise any Muslim to call us, to give him all the opportunity to answer us. Let me open my Skype and see if we can get ready any Muslim. He can explain to us why, if we don't believe in Muhammad, you know, we are not Muslims. If the purpose is worshiping one God and his name is Allah, so if somebody says, okay, I believe in Allah, is he a Muslim now? No, he's not. Let us see if we have any. I am a Christian. Can I call? All right. Uh, but this is uh, from yesterday, maybe. Or the day before. If you are interested to call us, you are a Christian or a Muslim, feel free. You can text me first, don't call right away, because you cannot actually, unless I text you. Uh, okay, I have a serious problem that I need to talk about. Okay. Uh, if we can take talk one to one. Well, I don't know what does that mean. Okay. Uh, somebody says to me, Christian Prince, you're a liar. Go to Fifi and see how he respond and beat you. Easy. Well, you're Fifi and Mimi and Susu and don't dare to call me. And this is telling you, and they don't dare to let me call them. This is telling you who can beat who. <laughs> that is a good one. Uh, okay. Let us see. All right, well, we are trying to see. If we have something worth it. And then now we did not see any uh, text from any Muslim. So if you if you are a Muslim or a Christian, you'd like to join us for free. So, uh, you know, Islam simply uh, is a propaganda machine. It is a government to control. And if you join the gang, you are part of the gang. And this is the government. It's not really like when a Muslim, he says to you, we have a Sharia law. I have my first degree. It is a Sharia law. And when I study, I did not find Sharia in the Sharia. Sharia, I mean, 
uh, you know, like uh, legislation, you know, like, but when you read, you don't find anything really. The Quran is empty, the Hadith is empty. Then what you find that Imam, etc., said, and Sheikh, etc., said, and a scholar, etc., said. So there is a huge gap inside this religion, and there is no law. Everything in this religion is not really coming from their God. You know, when a Muslim he says to you, uh, Islam is a complete system. And then when we check the Quran, we find that the Muslim didn't follow the Quran. They follow the Hadith. Even the Hadith, when it's contradict the Quran, they take the Hadith against the Quran, which is very weird because the Quran supposedly is the book of their God, not the Hadith. Muhammad is not the God. And what is the guarantee that Muhammad even said that? And the Muslim, they say the only preserved book is the Quran. So the Hadith is not. So why you follow the Hadith then? And the reason they follow the Hadith because the Quran is an empty book. Now we can prove it very easy if any Muslim would like to try uh, to join us and you know show us if we are wrong. Any Muhammadan? Can I join live debate in Skype? What does that mean? If you are a Muslim, tell me I'm a Muslim. You want to call me to, uh, you know, to prove me wrong. Uh, any Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us what Islam is? Let me do this, just to help you, to show you that Muslims themselves do not know really what is a religion. What is this Islam? You know, what, what, when we say Islam, what does that mean? Nothing. It's just a very flexible, false belief. There's no law. It's outlaw, actually, religion. It's a gang style. And the proof of that, you know, like there is a, if there is a punishment for a crime, the crime depends you do it to who? You know, have you ever heard that if you do a crime to someone, he is a Hindu, it's okay? If you do with the crime to a Muslim, it's not. So when they say law, Islam is outlaw. Islam is a gang. It's not, there's no law. So if I type now in Google, uh, what is Islam? I will open only a Muslim website. You know, uh, we don't want to go and see what Christian they say. We want to see how the Muslim, they bring us definition of their own uh, belief. Uh, Muslim Unity Center. What is Islam? Let us see this website. I will put it for you on the screen. Okay. What is Islam? Here we go. So this is a Muslim website and it's going to tell you what is Islam. Uh, if we go down here, it says the word of Islam is Arabic word mean peace. This is the first lie. The word peace in Arabic, actually the word peace in Arabic is not Arabic. It is Hebrew and it's coming from the Aramic. So it is shal you know, Salam or sh uh, Shalom. Do you see it's the same? Do you see there's a letter here in the front? Islam, it's not Salam. Salam mean peace, Islam mean to surrender. So this is the first lie, Islam is the opposite of peace. Because you surrender only when you lose, you know? Even when you say, I surrender to God, it's mean I, I admit that he is the almighty and I have no power over him to change him, to defeat him, to win against him, uh, to change my, uh, the way I'm made or created, you know? So I, this is what, this is what uh, surrender is. In Islam, it's not surrendered because you are a believer. You are surrendered because you are defeated. Like when you say healthy and unhealthy. So the I in the beginning is to reverse the word meaning. And we can prove that very easy. If you go to the Quran, you will see when Muhammad, he speak about the, the, the Arabian, the Bedouin. 
And Arab, by the way, Arab is a Bedouin. The word Arab means people of the desert. Arab is not an ethnic. Many naive people think, even they claim to be professor in universities in USA, they teach you that the word Arab is an ethnic group. This is not. Arab are not ethnic group. Uh, so you go to the Quran, you will find this. All those verses is about al uh, uh, Arab, which means the Arab, uh, which means the Bedouin. Even the Muslim translated as a Bedouin. Uh, when the Bedouin they said to Muhammad, "We are Muslims." What they say? They said, "Aslamna." What does that mean? We surrender. Have you see it? So. You see Christians, apologetic, like even uh, uh, our brother David would, when he speak about Islam, he says Islam means submission. That is absolutely wrong. And it's a false statement, but because his, uh, he don't speak Arabic, so this is a statement of ignorance. So we, we have surrendered, not we have submitted. And this is a translation for the word Aslamna, which means we became Muslims. So when you say Aslamna, you are talking about what? You are talking about somebody, he surrender. Now, how we know that he surrender in war? Maybe they mean something else. No. You will see here that those people, they say, we believe. Allah told Muhammad to tell them, say, you know, say to them, you believe not, but you only you can say, we surrender, which means you become a Muslim. So in Islam, you do not need to be a believer to become a Muslim. As you see, they don't believe. So how they are surrendering to Islam? Because simply, Islam is a war. He conquer you. You say Shahada or you die. So Muhammad saying to them, you cannot fool me. And this is a verse coming from Allah supposedly. You surrender in Islam, but faith never enter your heart. So now we understand what Islam is about. Islam is not about you believing. Islam is about your surrender. You give your soul to the devil. You don't believe that is your God who care. You don't believe that Allah is God, who care? You surrender. And then you ask yourself, how such a religion, if it's from God, accept that somebody can be called Muslim, yet he don't believe? You know what I mean? So who cares if you believe or not? You believe, you don't believe, who care? What we care for, that you surrender. Islam is a gang, and the gang would like to grow. In order to grow, well, we accept everybody. You believe in our gang, you don't believe, who cares? You have to join it. You want to live? Join and fight with us. And now who can prove me wrong? And in order to, to understand this verse more, uh, you need to read another verse, you know, chapter 48. The one we showed you is 49, 14. If you read chapter 48, verse number 16, Muhammad had been taught by Allah to say to the Bedouin, which means the Arab, who lagged behind when they want to join Islam, you shall be called to fight against people and given blah, 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 blah. Okay, either you surrender or we will kill you. Do you see it? The word surrender here is that you become a Muslim. Do you see it? This is chapter 48, verse number 16. So if you surrender, you know, we are coming to fight you, we are coming to kill you. If you surrender to us, you are fine. Or we will kill you. Then they surrender, but they are not believers. If you obey Allah, if you obey Allah, which means obey Muhammad, okay, you are fine. <laughs> uh, do we have any anyone have a comment any Mohammedan I remember actually you remember ultimate part when he called me once about this uh, ultimate part he don't speak Arabic and as you know he is I think from Senegal he don't speak Arabic at all but when he read the Quran for you what the Muslim they have they have like it's something it's called uh, I don't know what they called uh, inter something like you know they make the sound 
translation. I think, yeah, translation. So uh, it helped the Muslims to read Arabic, but they are not reading Arabic. They will read this. You know? Okay, we have somebody he called before, I guess. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you, are you Muslim? All right, what do you think about what you are saying? I am saying that you are talking about Islam, that uh, Islam is uh, only sincerity. It does not mean that you believe in uh, Allah and his messenger. But uh, if you want to be a Muslim, you have to believe in Allah and also his messenger mm. and also books like uh, hereafter. So you cannot become a Muslim. Well, only you, are telling me, you are telling me what you learn in the school, but we have the Quran in front of you is defeating everything you said. Does it say in the Quran, and I'm not, this is not even my translation, uh, in, you know, in chapter 49, verse number 14, that the Arab, they say, we believe. Allah said to them, don't say you believe, say we are Muslims. Say we are Muslims. So those are people who never believe in anything. You said to me, you have to believe, right? Just what you said. You have to believe in law. You have to be in the prophet. You have to believe in etc., etc., etc. And then we find the Quran saying, you have to believe in nothing. You have to surrender. Go ahead. But, 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 the, but the Quran also says that you have to believe in Allah and his messenger. And also okay, so are you book. saying the Quran <clears throat> have contradiction? No, this is not contradiction. This is only one verse. So you cannot be... No problem, you but this, contradict, this verse is against the other verse. You are saying to me, you no, have to believe in Allah. No, no, no what, uh, you do not know the, what the, does the contradiction mean. Contradiction means a contradiction means that two, uh, uh, two verse which talks about uh, opposite thing. But the Quran here, it is talking about uh, submission, but in other verse, it's talking about the believing in him and also okay, in Okay, I want you to explain. Let us say, you know, uh, we got it wrong and you are the smart person who knows everything. How he said to them, right. how he said to them, don't say we believe, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims, for faith never enter your heart. So he is allowing them, he is telling them, you can call yourself a Muslim, but don't say we believe. And you said to me, in order to be a Muslim, you have to believe. But Allah is saying in this verse, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. Correct? Whose verse it is? This is a chapter 49, verse number 14. Okay, so chapter 49, verse 14. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So it is talking about the Bedouin. So they said that we have believed and uh, we have become Muslim, but this it is talking about the submission on their side, but this is not talking about the Islam or Muslim. My friend, are you listening? You, are you listening? You cannot become when you... Are you listening? Are yes. you listening? Okay. Yes, I'm listening. It says, it yes, says, it says, yes. say, don't say we believe, you believe not. Say we are Muslims. So Allah is telling us that a person who believe not and faith never enter his heart, he even make it clear, for faith has not yet entered your heart. So how they are saying they are Muslims and why Allah is saying to them, you can say you are a Muslim, but faith never enter your heart. So how they become a Muslims? So I, I, I have to see the commentators. What does this say? Uh, so, say so look, look, because... look, you just, you just said to me something very funny. You just said to me, I have to see the commentator in order to understand Islam. So when the Muslim, they say to us, Islam is a perfect oh, religion. I, 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 hold on, I, I, hold on. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me make my comment. I will give you the time. So when the Muslim, they say, uh, that the Quran is a perfect book of God and nobody can write book like this and then you cannot even understand the verse in the Quran by listening to Allah but yes. you have to go and read the commentator are you finished yeah I'm giving you no go ahead yeah. so so the Quran says that uh, if you do not understand then ask the person who knows it is in the Chapter 16, verse 43. First of all, that if you what, don't what, know, what, hold on, hold on. What, 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 what a chapter? What chapter? What chapter? Chapter 16, verse 43. Okay, I will go to chapter, chapter 16. 16 okay. verse 43. But, and now you will regret this. Okay, chapter 16, verse number 30, uh, 40, uh, 40 said 43? 33? 43, yes. 43 or 33? 43. 43, okay. No, now, 43. If we put it for you on the screen, you will regret. 
Why? Well, you will see. You know, here we go. You said chapter 16, verse number 43, correct? Yes. Okay. فَإِسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ أَهْلَ الذِّكْرَ is the Christians. How do you know? No, no. Ahl al-zikr means that people who uh, learn, I mean, people who understand things. My, my, my so friend. All right, my friend. Okay. Uh, uh, you are the one who said to me that when you understand the Quran, you go and read the commentator, right? No, no, no. I said that if you do not understand the Quran, then Quran says the ask the person who knows. So now exactly. I am, uh, but the Quran that, here. Yeah. But the Quran here. What is a dhikr? A dhikr. What is the word a dhikr mean? Zikr means uh, uh, somebody who knows. No, a dhikr is the name of a book. No, this uh, this is not talking about a book. This is not. It is about the a book. Ahl al-dhikr, ahl al-kitab. The word ahl means people of. Ahl means yes, people of. Okay, so ahl al-dhikr, yeah. it's the people of the dhikr, correct? Yeah, people who knows. Okay. My, does I mean, the, no, who does, no. Let me show you that you are you do not know what you are talking about and learn from a Christian prince, the master of Islam. My friend, hold on. Here we go. This is the verse from the Quran. This is the verse from the Quran. We'll get you busted. With no mercy. It says here, So we wrote in the we, we wrote when we wrote the dhikr, the, the dhikr, you know? The dhikr is something. Huh? Yeah, giving the reference, which chapter? Yeah, let me wait for you on the screen. Hold on, give me a second. Hmm. Actually, I, I do not open YouTube, so you can give me a reference. I can seek it in my Quran. No problem. I thought you are watching us on YouTube. No, I'm there. Actually, I'm open. My, okay. I'm sure. It's chapter 21, chapter 21, verse number 105. Read it for us. So I'm there, right? Yeah. Last minute. So it says that, and we have already written the book of, uh, it is talking about the book of Psalms, I mean, that Zabur, mm. this was given to David. Hmm. After the previous mention that what is the, the previous mention? What, what is the previous mention? Yeah. What is the book? It's the book, the Zabur, which was given to no. uh, okay. David. Zabur, Zabur came after a dhikr, correct? After the mention that the land. No, is read it. Here we go. This is this is a dhikr in front of your eyes. So this is a book written after the book before it, which is a dhikr. So when you say to me, ask the people of the dhikr, you are talking about what? Even your Muslim says here, the Torah. Yeah, so now this is the so, zikr. So, so the so verse you gave me, the verse you gave me is saying that if you want to understand Allah or understand the Quran, go ask Jack Shalom, a Jewish guy. Oh, it doesn't say Jewish guy. So it says that the, 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 the people, can... the people who have the book, be, even before the book of Psalm, correct? The, the book of book of Psalms. The Muslims have the had the book of Psalms. So book of Psalms. No, you don't have it. No, you don't have it. Yeah, we do not have okay, it. Okay, but, but so, but, but, okay, but no problem. But it says go and ask the people of those, the people of what, the people of this book. Yeah. Okay, yes, so the, so a dhikr is Muslim. not is not the scholar of Islam is the scholars of the Christians and the Jews. I okay, I understand that. So dhikr means that who are the people are whom the book was given to them. So right, and you never and you, and, you, and you never been yes, given yes. a book. Your prophet he was receiving okay. verses one by one. So when you gave me this verse, me. Okay. Hmm. okay, okay. So book of Psalms was also given to Muslims. So we cannot can no, ask. To no, 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 no. It's but, yeah, not given not? to Muslims. This is the why like. Can, not? You, can you prove no, it to no. me? Can no. you pr can you prove it to me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes, I can. Give I me can. a verse. It, give me a verse. Give me a verse from the book of Psalms in the Quran. But the book of Psalms was given to David, and David was a Muslim. My friend, David was a Muslim, in order to say David was a Muslim, can you give me a verse from David in the Quran, which is the book of Psalms? You said the book of Psalms is the is given to David, right? Yes. Okay. So David was a Muslim. All right. So can, David was a Muslim, but you know, in the book of the Jews, they never mention even the word Allah, not even once. So how come Allah, he he he, he no, is the God of, 
He is the God of David, and then David never said the word Allah. Uh, because Allah is Arabic word, and David did not speak in Arabic. He is speaking uh, maybe... So Allah, he changed his name, depending on the language, correct? No, no, not since. Suppose uh, he, it is changing in the language, because uh, no, 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 no. David did you not just speak it, You just said, David did not speak Arabic, which is very funny, as if you are a person who speaks Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? I, I am not an Arab, but okay. I so can how come it. how come Allah did not give His name to David and He's a prophet and He gave it to you and you are not an Arab? So the excuse is David don't speak Arabic. This is why Allah did not give him the name Allah. Well, that is funny. I mean, this no. is the this is the but name of the God. This is the name of this is the name of the God. Why Allah hiding His name from David? You don't want to tell him the real name. It's okay. So now yeah, we we do not see the name of Allah because we do not have the real uh, Psalms. Because if oh, we okay. had the real Psalms, okay, okay, yes. I, I will go with you because we don't have the real Psalms. So why you're a prophet? He swear in the book of the Jews and he say I accept it. And why the Quran says confirming what is with them? Let us go to the Quran. Yes. Because you are of saying now you are yes. you are saying to me that the the book they have with them is not a true book, right? Yes. Okay. Chapter 2, verse number 89 says that the Quran confirmed what is with them. Yes. Okay. So what, uh, so confirming means that uh, uh, if you read the Quran, then you can understand the previous book. So Quran no, is no, the no, 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 no. Read carefully. Don't make things up. Are you a kid? How old are you? I am 20. You are 20. Okay. Today I will make you 30. Listen, it says, and when they come to them, to the Jews, a book. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. A book between two brackets, the Quran from Allah, confirming what is with them between two brackets, the Torah, and then yes, and the Injil right. and the Injil and the Gospel. So yes. the Quran confirmed that our book in the time of Muhammad never changed. So why Muslim they lie and they say it's changed when the Quran says it's confirming? Actually, the word in Arabic, musaddiqun, musaddiqun, does not mean confirm yes. only. It means yes. believing, believing. No, no, no. Mossadik also it is means uh, Abu Bakr Sadiq. Abu Bakr Sadiq. What does that mean? Abu Bakr the believer. Don't lie. You can go to the dictionary. Mossadik mean believer. Yeah, it can also mean uh, yeah, it depend. And, yeah, it depend. Uh, yeah, they... depend. Yeah, depend. Yeah. So look here what happened. You say to me that the, the, the we don't have the original book of David, but the Quran saying to the Jews, yes. all the book you have, all the books, even including the Injil, yeah. is believed yeah. in, it is trustworthy. It is from God, and whoever says that, he is a liar. Okay. Let me explain to that. Okay, so now Quran is saying that uh, uh, Quran is the confirmation of the Book of Psalms or Angel and the and the Torah. So if uh, the if those book were in uh, right from then the, you do not need to confirm that the, because they are not in the correct form. That's why Quran came to confirm that. So I don't understand the word. That, I don't uh, understand a word of what you are saying. You are running like a kid from a corner to a corner. How you can confirm a book if the book is not true? He yeah, is talking, right. he so is talking to them in his time, the Jews in front of him. It yeah. says, yeah. Not it was with them, what they have with them now, now, now. Yes, yeah, that, that's right. Hmm. Yes, that's right. So now, uh, why do you need to confirm that? Because if those books were, uh, is, uh, were in right forms, that you do not need to confirm that because it is in it was not in right form that's why Quran came to confirm that so it is not okay. because because the, because they are not correct the Quran confirm it's correct yes yes so if we read the Quran you can you? understand the gospel hold on the if the Bible is not, not correct if the Bible is not correct the Quran says it's correct and you are saying to me because they are not correct these verses exist oh. Okay, the Quran doesn't say the Bible is correct. Quran never said the Quran. It's in the front of you. It says believing in what is the between their hands, between their hands. I can show you even more verses, huh? It is confirming believing. Yeah. Confirming what? What is what is confirming? Confirming what is with them, right? What is with them? The, yes. Is the Torah and the yes. Gospel. That's right. So if okay, so confirming okay, what is right. with so them. So it, do they have corrupt book and you are confirming it with them, or they have a correct book and you are confirming it because it's true yes, book? That's right. So, okay, let me let me explain that to you. Uh, if you read the Quran, then you are confirming the books of uh, books of uh, Jesus and uh, David. So if if those books uh, uh, were not in correct form, that's why Quran came to confirm them. So, uh, <laughs> that's the most, Quran... That is the most funny answer ever. I mean, my friend, you do not need to say the book with you is true, and this is why the Quran came. That is stupid. We do not need your book. 
We have our book already. We do not need Muhammad. We don't believe in Muhammad. So this is the most stupid argument. In the same time, if the book if the book with them is 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 if the book with them is a stupid bad book, you don't say to them I confirm the book with you. You say to them your book is false. Yeah, that's it. Because because you you think that you you have the right book. That's why Quran says. Our friend, you keep saying you think when the Quran saying I have the right book. Okay, let me ask you. We you just I just showed you the verse before you mentioned that you asked the people of the Dhikr, and I showed you the Dhikr is the people of who came before Muhammad. So you have to ask us, when Muhammad, he was in doubt about his religion, did the Quran say to him, go and ask the Christians? Yes, it says in the chapter 10, verse 94. Exactly. So how ask the Christian if the Christians are, they don't have a good book, and they are fabricators, and they are liars. So why Muhammad himself was ordered to cancel the Christians if he have adopted? If there are people who don't have a book. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Let me explain that to you. Okay. Uh, explain so to me. Okay. Quran okay. says that. Uh, if, okay. Okay. So Quran says in in chapter ten, verse ninety four. I think in Surah Yunus that if you do not understand, then uh, uh, read the previous books. So it is saying that when Quran talks about the uh, Jesus and Moses, so the people of Arab. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where you get this information see, from? Uh, no, no, you need, you, need, you need see here we do a fact check. When you say something, we have to do fact check. Where in the verse says, if you don't yeah, understand about Jesus, if you don't understand about, okay. and why Muhammad, you don't understand about Jesus? I mean, okay, hold on, hold on. You see how stupid what you said? You, you, you just destroyed your religion. You, the Quran says to Muhammad, if you don't understand about Jesus, just what you said, you go and ask the Christians. So the Quran, the Quran never, never told the truth about Jesus then, because the Quran is not a sufficient book for Muhammad to learn about Jesus. So go and ask the Christians. That's what you just said. Go ahead. Okay, let me explain that to you. Okay, so now uh, it, it is it it is not talking about only Muhammad. It also talks about the people of the Arab. No, it's so talking when, uh, only about Muhammad. Okay, so let me explain that to you. Okay? No, don't so explain now, to me. Don't asked, don't lie. When you lie here, I will I will grab you from your tail. You say this is not only about Muhammad, you are a liar. It says, if you are in doubt, and this is for individual, this is for individual, a person, and this is about Muhammad, you can open the interpretation. Why you are lying? Yes, so, yes, so now Quran what, is what not do you, only What do you mean yes? What do you mean by saying yes? Why, what do you mean by saying yes? I just accusing you of lying and you said yes. Why you are lying saying yes. this is not about Muhammad? I didn't say that it is not uh, about uh, Muhammad. I you said, said that this no, is not you said, only about You said this is not only about Muhammad. This is about everybody. You are a liar yeah. then. So yes, if you because, if you because, have a doubt, and look what yeah. you did now, you make yeah. it even more horrible. So now all of you have obligation. If you have a doubt about Muhammad, about Allah, you have to come to Christian Prince. Because you said this is about everybody. No, no, it is talking about that the Muslim the Quran is for let the whole of the Muslims. Let, let, us go, let us go back to zero. In Kunta Fishakin, if you are in doubt, talking to who? Talking, if you, if you are in doubt, ask the person who knows. Who no, is no, this is person. not the question. You, talking to who? When he says the Quran, if you are in doubt, talking to who? To Muhammad, to you, to everybody, to who? Yes. To who? Yes, Allah is, Allah is talking to Muhammad. Okay, why you said to me, this is not only for Muhammad then? Okay, so now because because Quran was not only for Muhammad, no, Quran no, no, was for no, the no. This is no, this is stupid of you to say because this verse was given to Muhammad, oh. asking Muhammad himself, not asking you. Yes. So why you lie yes, and say right. this is for everybody? Yes. So now when Quran what do you mean says by that, saying uh, yes, my friend, okay. you are talking to Christian prince. You don't say yes. You have to explain why you say this is for everybody when it's for Muhammad. Okay, so let me explain that to you. Okay, so now don't, don't Quran, explain. Uh, don't you just answer already. You say this is only for Muhammad. But before, after, no, I, I, got, I, after I got you busted, no, you just said that. You said this verse was given only to Muhammad. Let us no, go, say, let us said, go back, no, let us go back to zero. Here but, we go. You see how many times you got yourself busted in, in less than 60 seconds? Let us go back to zero. This verse, if you are in doubt about what is revealed to you, this is was Allah talking to who specifically? Yeah, to, Muhammad, to Muhammad. Is... Meant, to, meant, to be, meant to be followed by. Okay, yes. so who is but the one? Okay, everybody. so why you said to me this verse is for everybody? Yes, because the Quran is not only for Muhammad. It is, this is for a, my friend. It, this is a for the for you. The Quran is not for only for Muhammad. No, this verse is for Muhammad only, because the one who have a doubt was only Muhammad. Okay, so now if you uh, when you see that in the Quran that Allah is talking to Muhammad, so this is an example that everyone should follow like this. So this is not only 
if you you can all so that when uh, 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 when uh, Prophet Muhammad he talks about uh, okay, let, Moses let, and let, Jesus, let us make it simple. Let, let, let us make it simple. Understand. Let us make it simple. When Muhammad was in doubt about his belief, how he can be a prophet, and he himself he don't believe he's a prophet. Oh, you are changing the topic now. I uh, no, we are not changing the topic. This is the same topic because this is the one here it says he have a doubt about his belief. Who is who is that? Muhammad. And you agree this is for Muhammad. Okay. And Muhammad who have a doubt about his belief, that means he have a doubt about him being a prophet. It says clearly in what is revealed to you. So Muhammad himself, he don't believe in what is revealed to him, correct? Because he did not uh, expect that because the prophet Muhammad in, in his uh, before he uh, be, be understand that he is going to be a prophet he is he did not know that so when uh, this verse was revealed to him he, the Allah is saying that if you uh, have any problem if you are in doubt you can ask the person uh, before you so because they know that this Jesus and Moses this is the uh, this is, people also knew about this so okay. this Allah is I'm, I'm going about. to ask you a very simple question. You said because Muhammad now is not sure he wasn't expected to be prophet, and suddenly he was. Oh. High. What? You said that already. He we are. Not huh? Going to be a. Huh? Yeah, I said that. I said that Muhammad did. We did not know that he is going to be a prophet. Okay, but Muhammad, this chapter, chapter Yunus, is given to Muhammad a few days after he became prophet. Or given to him more than ten years after he became prophet. This is, uh, it is a Meccan surah, so maybe this uh, is uh, maybe it for. Huh? I lost you. Yeah, so it, it is the Meccan surah, so it was revealed in Mecca. Okay, uh, uh, let me get you busted again. So uh, they, here, this is this is your website. It says. That the chapter of Yunus is a chapter number 51, and in the exception of. No, chapter Yunus is chapter, chapter, wait, 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 chapter wait. 10. This is chapter 10. No, no, the real, the real revelation, according to Muslims, is number 51, not 10. Today it's number 10. But in the real Quran, which is given to Muhammad supposedly, is number 51. And I'm showing you Islamic website. And look what it says here. Except the following verses, which mean Muhammad changing location of verses. Except verse number 40, 94, bingo. So now we have 94 is given to Muhammad in the Medina. Correct? So, med yeah, it is, uh, so because the... Okay, the, the so now Muhammad already he is a prophet. Muhammad already now he is a prophet for a long period. Why he suspect that he is a prophet? What's the problem? In so I did not. I did not hear What? Yeah, your voice is cutting. If you are opening too many applications, you need to close them so I can hear you. But I. I can. Yeah, I can understand. I can hear you clearly. Okay. So why, why Muhammad? What is, what is the problem now? Already, this is not the first chapter Muhammad received. This is not the second one. This is not the third one. This is yes. not the fourth one. Already, he is a prophet from long time. So why now he have a doubt about his belief? Yes. What happened? So because the prophet Muhammad, he did not have the knowledge of everything because he is prophet. He is not God. So when uh, Allah what does says have to that do? if you are what in doubt, have to do you with, ask... what does have to do with being God? Okay, Moses is not God. Abraham is not God. Yes, definitely. all the prophets are not God. Yeah. No problem. So why they they were not yeah. confused? Jesus, Jesus. Why now Jesus your God and, and we and we can prove it to you. Don't go there. For now, let us finish this one. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on. How can you prove to me that? I can prove to you that, but let us let's finish. Uh, uh, let us see. Okay, let us see. Let us see. Let us, let us make a, a very a simple question. The question here in front of us about Muhammad have a doubt, proving to us that Muhammad is mentally ill. Because how he, how he is a prophet of God, how he been squeezed by the angel, how the angel came to him many times, hundreds of times already, how Allah revealed to him tons of verses, how the Muslims, they say the Quran, if you send it down in a mountain, the mountain will go down, because it's an amazing book. How come all of those things did not even convince Muhammad himself that he's a prophet? This is not about, so you understand, so he, when Allah says that if you have any doubt, it is not talking about the, his belief. Okay, so you, you are saying to me, so you, okay, so you are saying to me that Allah, when he say if, 
doesn't mean Muhammad he have adopt. He is saying to him, if, if. No, no, I didn't say that. I, okay. I say that if you have doubt about what I am able to you, that means if you do not understand things, that's why he's saying that okay. you can... Okay, how uh, stupid that... your statement is that you are saying that if you don't understand things, you go to the Christians who have wrong understanding. Isn't it the Christian, so they, will, is isn't it the Christian they will save Jesus as God? So you are saying to me that your God says to Muhammad, if you don't understand things, go to Christian friends. Because he have the correct a... understanding. No, no, because uh, let me explain that to you. Why? Because if you read the context of that verse, uh -huh. uh, before this verse, Allah is, Allah is talking about the Moses and the Pharaoh. So mm. when it was revealed to Muhammad, he did, maybe he did not understand any, uh, these things. That's why he, he, Allah said to him that you can ask the Christians, they can see, they can also confirm My friend, that. that how, yes. how you can ask the Christians if the verse before it says that the Christians, they have, and th those people, they are fighting over each other about what is right, what's wrong. And why he's asking yeah. them to go, but he's asking him to go and ask them if they are wrong. Then oh, this, yeah, this, because, this is a stupid thing no. to say. You don't, you don't yeah. ask somebody, no. look, listen, somebody, is, somebody okay. taking drugs, somebody taking drugs and somebody asking me how to be healthy. And then I say to you, well, go ask the guy who take drugs, ask him how to be healthy. That's stupid. No, because, this is not talking about the learning. Huh? Listen to me. Okay. Allah is not... Allah is not saying that you can learn from Christians. Allah is saying that if you... No, it says Allah that. It says, go, if you are in doubt, ask those. When you say ask, yeah, that's okay, right. yeah. you, you ask for what? When you ask, you ask about what? Yes. That's mean you have a lack of knowledge, right? And you are the one who says to me, Muhammad is just a prophet. He's not God. He does not know everything. And so when he asks, he asks to know. Why you are lying to yourself? Yeah. You just said that already. So when yeah, he asks, he yeah. asks to know. He asks to learn, correct? Yeah. Okay. So listen to me. So, so okay, listen to me. Okay. Now, so when Allah talks about Moses and uh, and Jesus and the Pharaoh, so Prophet Muhammad, when he did not, uh, when he was not a prophet, so he did he did not know about them. So that's why he said that if you ask those, you can confirm that that it is it is right that Prophet Moses and, and uh, Pharaoh and Jesus they came. Thank you very you. much. So now, if we want to confirm the truth, we have to go and ask the Jews and the Christians, for they have the truth. So your prophet is a liar. And look, let me ask you now. Not, as, as long as you made it clear for us. You just, just you, you just said that. You said Muhammad, you do not know the Pharaoh. And Muhammad do not know about Moses. Muhammad, so go ask the Christian and the Jews. No, but, no. but if they are lying about, if, if they are lying, then how we cannot go and ask them? So you confirm again that the Christian and the Jews, they are the one to consult and they are the one who share the truth. Let me ask you, did your prophet try to commit suicide? Uh, now you are saying the topic. I know this is no, uh, not, I... not because this is the reason for it. Muhammad, yeah. Muhammad, no. Muhammad. No, I, I he, he is a crazy man. He is not a prophet. He was imagining things happening to him, and this is why he tried to commit suicide. And this verse, and this verse is not coming. This good. This verse is not coming from Allah. This verse is coming from Muhammad. He's trying to explain why he's stupid, why he do not know, why he's, in, yes. why, why, he's why he's ignorant. So he says, oh, Allah told me to go, go and ask the Christian and the Jews because he want to explain to the people around him why each time he have a problem, he go and ask the Christian and the Jews because he himself, he have no knowledge and you agree with that. So let me ask you again, when Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide, is that because he's mentally ill or because he's smart? Okay, so I can ask the same question that uh, was Jesus tempted by Shaitan? You can also, can you answer that? Why Jesus very, was very easy. Shaitan, he failed. Shaitan, he tried. But Jesus, he won. Yeah. Your prophet, he lost. But because when can, you, but listen, but, yeah, listen, but, listen, even, your, even give, your Quran listen. says Jesus is holy, which means Shaitan cannot hurt oh. him. He cannot touch him. Even your prophet, he says, everyone, yeah. when he is born, Shaitan touch yeah. him, you, except, but, but, except Mary and her son, Jesus. But, so Jesus but, have yeah, an but, ultimate but, protection from Shaitan, and Shaitan cannot affect him. But the question is, yeah, when, you're, right. when, you're a prophet, is the... when you're a prophet, he tried to commit suicide. Was he under the control of shaitan or under the control of Allah? Yes. So now the Quran says that uh, shaitan cannot tempt Jesus. But the Bible says that, that Jesus was tempted by devil. So the how word, can God the be word tempted, tempted here, The word tempted is translation of shaitan trying his best to tempt Jesus. That's why Jesus said to him, it says yeah. this, it says this, it says this, and he won. He did not obey shaitan in anything. So the word, the word yeah. temptation here, my friend, is shaitan trying. So don't lie to yourself. Okay, in the in that in that chapter, no, no, it does it say, say does it say anywhere that Jesus he obeyed shaitan? 
No, it says that Jesus so you're lying like as long as he did not Jesus obey Shaitan like because Shaitan he say things to him that's all Shaitan he says I will give you this I will do that to you I will make you this if you are the son of God throw yourself so Jesus he refuted him so this is what it says tempted tempted here he did not success he was trying in the case of your prophet was Shaitan successful oh, what? was Shaitan successful yes. to convince your prophet to commit suicide or Allah was successful yes. Yeah, that, that's not the point because it says that Matthew 14 it says that Jesus was tempted by Shaitan. Yeah, but you will see there the word tempted there the word I just explained to you and you are being a kid again. Tempted there he did not succeed. He tried. He offered me things. Shaitan he offered me now. If yeah. you convert to Islam I will give yeah, you listen. Shaitan yeah. he can offer me. If I convert to Islam he will make my endless penis as Muhammad uh, promised me I will have endless penis. But I laugh at Shaitan and say, are you stupid? Yeah. I don't believe in such a garbage. So Shaitan, he, this is how he tempted me, but he didn't. He failed because his temptation yeah, but, did not work on me. But, but, so in the Bible, it says yeah, clearly sir, that but, Jesus, he did not commit sin and Shaitan could not have any effect in Jesus. In the Quran, and you are someone who said that yeah, in the Quran, in the Quran, Jesus never can be tempted. But the Quran says that Muhammad can be tempted, correct? Yeah, that's right. That's in the Quran. Okay, so why no, I will go with you now? I will go with you now. So why Muhammad can be tempted and he can commit sin, but we cannot make Jesus commit sin? Listen to me. So Jesus, uh, this is not the point that Jesus was forward, but how can God be tempted? This is the point. So you are saying well, okay, you are uh, a man. I, but I, will, Jesus, I will go with you. I will go with you. I will go with you. How God can be tempted? But did Jesus tempt you, idiot? Did he commit sin? Yes. Did he commit sin? No, that's not the point. So, no, this is the but point. This is the point. This is the translation of the trial. It's a trial. This is what tempted me. Translation for the word trial. So, Shaitan, he tried Jesus. The same as Shaitan, he tried your God. When Allah, he ordered everybody to bow down. Shaitan, he refused. This is a trial. He's in, trying to intimidate the God. He says to him, I'm not going to bow down. This is the temptation. This is the trial. I'm going to stand against you. I'm not going to obey you. What you can do about it. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, so, how can... Yes, so how can devil tempt God? This is the point. How come what? How how can devil can tempt God? He cannot. So, but but the Bible says that Jesus. This is, was this is the like trial. God. He tried. He tried. But God, he oh. was God. Jesus. No, it doesn't. Just it, it don't, doesn't, don't be stupid. I, I just answer you. You want to accept? You don't accept? People are laughing at you. I answer you. Now I'm asking you. When Allah, yeah, can I, can when, I when, when Allah Bible? prophet, can, can I shut up. When Allah, when Allah prophet. He wanted to commit suicide. Was he tempted by the devil or tempted by Allah? No. So, so now you are changing the topics. The Bible says no, that No, I'm not changing Jesus the topic. I answer you about that one and I showed you and I challenged no. you. And you agree that but Jesus never commits sin. Okay, did, let me let us go to zero. In the Bible, in that chapter, did Jesus commit sin? But yeah, that's not the point. He commits sin. This is the, the, point. This is the, the point. point. This is the point. Because the person who don't commit sin, he must be God. Or every human being, he commits sin. Do we agree? Yeah. Okay. Yes, so Jesus did Jesus they, commit uh, did Jesus commit sin? Yes or no? In the Bible, yes, but in the Quran, no, no, nowhere in the Bible it says Jesus commits sin and you are a fraud. Yeah. Give me the verse. Yes. Give me the verse. He, he, he did. Matthew Matthew 15, 25. This doesn't say he commits sin, you're stupid. It says the shaitan trying to tempt no. him. No, no, this is not about shaitan. He commits sin with the Samaritan woman. How he commits sin? Go ahead. Okay, read that verse for me. Matthew 15, 24. You read it. Go ahead. Okay. So now a Samaritan woman but came before, to Jesus before we asked start, him. Before we start. Yeah. If you fail, if you fail to yeah. prove that Jesus commits sin, yeah. do you yeah, agree? According to the Bible. Do you, no, no, no. Do you I agree? Don't... Okay. Do you agree to, to say that I am a liar like my prophet? No, why, why I, not? I'm why to, not? Uh, no, if are you saying the truth to us now, or are you saying the truth, or you are a liar? Yeah, because according to the Bible, yes. Don't tell Jesus me according to the Bible. Him. This is what I'm talking now. According to the Bible, if we yeah. go now and we we'll read the verses, you said Matthew, right? Yes, Matthew 15, 25. Okay, so if we go now 25. to Matthew 15, 25, and we did not see that Jesus yes. commit any sin, are you going to agree yes. and announce yourself as a liar? But uh, so first we can uh, understand that, but then we can... No, 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 that, 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 that. I want you to promise me, if nowhere in that verse says that Jesus commits sin, do you promise me as well, a man? I, I didn't... 
I, I'm going to prove that he commit commits sins. No problem. The Bible. Before I'm we start, before we start to prove it, do you promise me if we find that the verse doesn't say what yes. you are saying? Okay. Do you so promise me a promise okay, of I, a man? Okay. Do you promise okay. me if, promise? If, if of, answer, listen, listen. Do you promise me a promise of a man that you have to admit that you were okay. lying? I'm, I'm not going to ask you to insult your prophet. I'm going to ask you, do you do you promise me as a man to to say I was yeah. lying about Jesus? Yeah, listen to me. So uh, if I ask, uh, yeah, I, I will ask a question. If you can answer that, I will promise that. No, don't, blah, 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 don't change the topic. You say it in Matthew chapter 15, verse number 20, 25, Jesus commits sin. Uh, it seems he commits sins, but it doesn't say where that it he says, commits sins. Where it says, okay, you know what? I will give you a chance to make the promise that you are a man and yeah. you are not lying. Can you promise yeah. me that you are not lying? And you promise okay. me so if, now, we, if we get you busted and we go to the verse and we read it and the verse doesn't say in a single word of what you are saying, do you promise me to agree that yeah. you are a Muslim and by profession you are a liar? Now, what I understood, you are afraid of your Bible. That's so you are the, trying. The one to, is afraid uh, is you, you dummy. Question. Okay, read the verse for us so everybody will laugh at you. Go ahead. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so now Matthew 15, I am reading from chapter 23. That uh, uh, chapter 15, verse 23. When, 22, uh, what, what, 22, yeah, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, I thought you said 25. Uh, Matthew, 20, Matthew 15, 22. 22, oh, okay, 22, go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, so. I am going to read from chapter uh, verse 22 to 27. Hmm. So they are according to the Bible he committed. Don't, so, uh, don't waste my time. Okay, that, just tell uh, me. Tell, tell me. Week. Tell me what is the sin. Go ahead. Okay. So now when he came to Jesus, she came to Jesus to hmm. heal her son. So Jesus said that I am sent only for the lost sheep of Israel. Hmm. So when uh, and the woman. Woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me. She said, uh, Jesus replied that it is not right to take the children's bed and to it to the dogs. So according to Jesus, the Gentiles are the dogs. So this is called racism. So Jesus was his issue. Okay, are you, done? The are you done? So are, are you so, done? Are you done? Are you done? Yes. I'm, so I wanted to promise yes. that the one who used the term of animals to describe somebody is racism, correct? Because if, if I told Shut you up. that you are I want you to promise. I want you to say... The one you say this is racism. The one you describe people as animals, he is doing racism. Do you agree? Well, I, now I, I understand that you are going to the Quran and See, you now say that because you, you because you are a coward, you are a son of Muta. Now you don't want to dare to talk about it no more because the Quran is the one describe people as 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 uh, as dogs and the Quran describe people as as donkeys and the Quran describe people as animals. And here you just mentioned to me a verse showing it clearly that Jesus is God. The same verse says that the women she worshipped Jesus, she bowed down to Jesus, and she called him my God. And you are saying to me that Jesus no. there, hold on, shut up, liar. And there, if we go and read the verses, we will see that Jesus, he did a miracle nobody can do, and he blessed the women. So why you are saying to me that Jesus being a racist, if he is a racist, he will not help her, and he will not look at her, and he will not talk to her, and he will not even listen to her. But Jesus, he did what she was asking yeah, for. Did, G, did, did, did the women yeah, worship? Did, did, the women, did the women worship Jesus in that verse? No, this is not. Doesn't say she worship, said to him, so "Have he, mercy on me, my lord." Yeah. So okay. my lord is. Have mercy on me, my lord. But what she want from him, this lord? So he want help from him. So what he, help? What he, kind he of had, help? She want money. She wants a, a sandwich. What she want? She want her child to be healed. She want okay. This is a question. This is a, this is a request you ask to the Lord who can heal. That is God, is it? No, no, because uh, the what Bible says. No, no, that no. Jesus you see, she is asking Jesus, calling him my Lord. She is not asking the God of Jesus. She is saying, my Lord, I need your help. All right. And then Jesus he yes. said to her, "Shut up, you liar!" You said, and Jesus said to her, "O woman, great the face, the faith." be in, uh, like it's going to be as you ask for and her daughter was healed so jesus yes. as lord jesus as lord he healed the women he did not commit sin but the women worship him and he was not racist and jesus he but, said but, himself yeah. just to show you the racism my friend the racism isn't it your god in the quran and you are the one who, who mentioned that animals shut up isn't it the, isn't the quran isn't it the, isn't it the quran says 
There is a chapter in the Quran. All of it is called the chapter of An'am. Al-An'am. What the chapter is about is about describing non-Muslims are enemies. Is that correct? Okay, listen to me now. Okay. Shut so up, now, shut up, okay. shut up. Yes or no? Yes or no? Does the Quran say that non-Muslims are animals? Where does it say in the Quran? You are the one who said to me, I know you are going to talk about the Quran. And now you are saying to me you do not know where in the Quran? No, I said that it show me from the Quran when Allah, where Allah says that non-Muslims are animals. Chapter 17, verse chapter 7, verse 179, and chapter 25, verse number 44. Here we go. Chapter so for Chapter 25, 44. Hmm. So it says that, or do you think the most thing here or reason are not ex hmm. Rather, they are more astray in a way. Hmm. This is talking about that they do not hear because they can they can see the signs. This is not the question. They are are, they, are, they, are they the same? Are they the same as animals? No, it doesn't say that they are animals. It says it that says he is giving are, an example. Allah it says is, they are just like Allah. cattle. It says they are just like cattle. Yeah, just, it, he's giving an example. that yeah, I, and, 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 there, and Jesus was giving an example because the Jews, and this is a statement the Jews, they say, why we want to give the word of God to the someone who don't believe in God? And you are the one who speak about racism. Is it true that the Quran considers non-Muslims are najis? The Quran is giving an example that Don't give me an example now. Like Answer, enemy. Abdul. Is it true that the Quran consider anyone is not a Muslim, he is Najis, correct or no? Najis, what does the Najis mean? And now he do not know what the word Najis means. Suddenly he do not know. You do, Are you telling me that you do not know and you never heard the word Najis before? No, I, I think I do. Yeah, give I, a think, I think I know. You are like Najis. a duck now. So explain to me why the Quran saying the one who is not a Muslim is a Najis. And what Najis mean? Don't tell me I never heard of it. People are laughing at you. What Najis mean? So, 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 I do not know. That's so, right. so, 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 you are a liar. Swear by Allah you do not know. Yes, I do not know. Swear by, swear by Allah. Swear by Allah. Yes. Yes. You swear by Allah you do not know? Yes, I do not know. Okay, what make, a, make a full statement. Say, I swear by Allah I do not know what the word Najis mean. Why, why, why should I say that? Because See, you are lying then, internet. you are doing taqiyya, you are, you are not going to swear. A second ago you said, I swear. But now you don't want to give a, a full sentence because in your heart, the Quran allow you to take an oath, false oath. What's the problem? You can't even take a false oath because you are following shaitan. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath? The Quran says that. So take a false oath, no problem. I'm asking you for the last time. Can you swear by Allah that you never heard, you never know, what the word najis mean? I, I'm not going to say that because... Why uh, not? You I, I said don't... already you never heard of it before. Already you said that, you coward liar. Because already, I, I do not, uh, already uh, you said, already everybody heard you. You said, I never heard of it. I do not know what it's mean. What, 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 what does that mean? And then you said to me, yes, okay, yes, I swear. But you did, when I asked you to make a full sentence, to say, I swear, I never heard of the word najis, what it's mean, you refused to take an oath. That's mean you are a liar. Admit that you are a liar like your prophet. Admit. Why should admit. I make a why, why, why should I make a word? Because uh, this is not a requirement. Do, 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 do you see how your voice has changed so fast? Listen, I'm asking you, you said, everybody heard you, that you never heard what the word Najis mean. You do not know what it means. You never heard of it before. I want you to say an oath. I swear by the Quran and Allah that I never heard this word Najis before. I do not know what it does mean. Very simple. Go ahead. Why do you need to make me an oath? Why do you need that? Why not? You Muslim, you do oath even for a zucchini. Now you don't want to make an oath? Why? I do not need to make then, an oath right no, now. You need to. No, you need to. Because I'm forcing you. No, I you otherwise, people no, will laugh I, at you. I don't know. Listen, listen, you coward. I don't listen, you coward. You said, you said you never heard of Najis and Muslims are allowed to take oath, even false oath. So why you would not take an oath? Say, I never, I swear by Allah and the Quran, I never heard. And, 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 and look, 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 look how stupid you are. Look how stupid you are. 
you when I ask you and you said you don't know I said to you swear by Allah you do not know he said yes I do not know so you agree you swear already but you did not say that full sentence so you are practicing taqiyya taqiyya is a Muslim he says something in his heart he says something in his mouth and by Allah he took you only take your attention or accountable only for what you meant don't worry so you can lie the Quran I love you to lie so why you don't want to lie go ahead lie I say, I swear by Allah, I never heard of the word Najis. Okay, so, okay, so look, you look, at, you, look at you, stupid. Don't, look I, at I, you, I look, donkey. Okay. You see, I'm, I'm done with you. Let me, I'm, I'm going to give you a break. So now you agreed that the word Najis is a word of discrimination, claiming that non Muslims are filthy, dirty. And you are the one talking about racism, you coward. And you are the one who's the, saying that Jesus the, was racist. So, how, how, about, was, how about the God who says that the black people will go to hell? Anyone who, who believe in Allah and no, is no, no, here we go. Right, this right is your anyone who believe in Allah, but those are the white people. We've been careful for it. Here we go. This is your prophet saying, not me. When Allah He created Adam, He struck him in his left shoulder, in, and uh, and from there He created the black people, and He struck Adam in the right shoulder, and they were white, like white ants. Yeah, so. And then, and then set up, and then he said to the one from the left shoulder, you go to hell and I don't care. And to the one from the right shoulder, you go to heaven, I don't care. Yeah, so let me explain that to you. So the Quran says that there is, no there is no difference. No, explain there the hadith no for difference. me first. Explain the hadith for me. You see, I'm giving you a break from yeah. the religious. So the Quran is a racist con uh, uh, religion. Believe that Muslim men, the white men, they are supremacist. Chapter 3, verse number 110. And even the Quran, even Muhammad, he order you to go and bring people in the chain in their necks. And this is your prophet is ordering you, it's telling you how Allah created evil and good. The good ones, according to Muhammad, is the white man. The bad man is the evil oh, one, even, is the black okay, one. You, okay, so you, you just, just say that chapter, chapter 3, verse 100. Shut up. Is we, will go there. we will go there after we read this hadith. You are trying to yeah, skip this but, hadith. But, but you... But, but, we will go there. That, I promise that, you. I promise you. We will go there after we finish this hadith. Oh, read it. Read it. Read it. But but but, but, but don't but me. Don't but me. Abdul, don't, don't but with me. Read the hadith. Let everybody laugh at your prophet and how racist he is. Yeah. But you you were the but, one but, who but, said no, that. Read, the, the, read the hadith. Read the hadith and explain the hadith and then you can but me. I am not a scholar of hadith. But, 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 so hadith you are a scholar. You are a scholar. So you are calling me to refute me, aren't you? So you are, suddenly you do not know. So you do not know what majis mean. You do not know what this hadith mean. You do not know anything. I mean, the hadith is very no, simple. I, I didn't say that. Shut I, up. Shut up. No, can, hadith, I mean, hadith, hadith is you very can, you can understand the Bible, but you can't understand what your prophet is saying. The hadith, you, there can be a shut uh, up, hadith. Shut and up. I don't hadith. care. Don't... This is at, this is at Turmudi. It's a Sahih hadith. And this is your Muslim website. Read it. Read it. Give me the reference. Hadith number what? What hadith number? Hadith number, 30, to... hadith number 38. At Turmudi. Okay. Hmm. 38. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to read that. Huh. Read it in front of you on the screen. Thirty-three. Yeah, so uh Ubay bin the Muaz Muabis Ibn Afra'a. Is, is it that hadith? Read it in the screen. Read it. It says, Allah Messenger, peace be upon him, said. Yeah, uh, I, I understood. But this is a, this is a Hassan hadith. I just see that. Ah, it's a Hassan. Hassan mean good. Yeah. No, Hassan, it, it is not it is not the uh, same as Bukhari and Muslim. Ah, this is, uh, it's, guys, it's Hassan. It's not the same as Bukhari. Do you know what Hassan mean? Yeah, I, I, I know that. But what Hassan mean? What Hassan mean? Take a good. What Hassan mean? Hassan means that a yeah, hadith that uh, is uh, said by only one. The, mean, what only Hassan one. mean? The word Hassan, stop being stupid. But only one? Hassan mean one? Only one? He said it? That's what Hassan mean? You no, stupid? No, no. Abdul, listen, listen. No, 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 what no. the word Hassan mean? Isn't it your your father, your prophet himself, his grandson, his name is Hassan? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, what Hassan mean? Hassan. Mean I, I do not know Hassan. You stupid, you do not know, mean good. It means good, correct? I, I said that Hassan Hadith is not. It means good. It's Hassan, same as Hassan mean good. So shut up. So your prophet, he said that. It's Hassan, it's good. So your prophet is very filthy racist. Now we go. Prophet, you you said, that. I will give you escape. You said in chapter 3, verse 110. Does it chapter 3, verse 110 says that the yeah. Muslims are the best of mankind? 
<laughs> yeah, no, it says that uh, because you follow what is good and forbid what is bad, that's why you are good. So anyone who follow what is good and what is bad, okay. then he is good. So the Muslim, they yeah. follow what is good, and the good is to consider that black people would go to hell. This is the good of Islam, right? No, no, that's not good. The good is that okay. you follow, follow what Allah is good, is that you call a Christian and non-Muslims Najis. This is good, right? How do you know this is good? Because Allah is giving an example. He's you are, not the, one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, we follow what Islam teach, and the word Islam teach that non-Muslims are filthy Najis. Correct? Yeah, so, but, okay. uh, so but the Bible if you see, if you see someone, if you yes. see someone is a Hindu, what you call him in Islam, you call him Najis. Is that correct? Yeah, so okay. why do we have what any Najis problem? Mean, what Najis mean? What Najis mean? Listen to me, okay. So now the Shut Bible up. also... What Najis me, mean? Uh, you call, you, you agree. Yes. That when you see a Hindu person, you say to him, you are Najis. What Najis mean? But uh, but uh, when you see a Gentile, you can also This is not the question. Dog. When you see what, a what, Hindu, what, what when you see that? a... Shut up. When you see a Hindu person, you say to him, you are Najis. What Najis mean? Okay, so when you see uh, Gentiles, what do you do? This is another question. This is another question. I'm asking yeah, you. I'm asking you, you the, as a Muslim. This is, this is the question. I'm asking this, you this as a Muslim. Because, Abdul. No, no, Abdul. I'm, you see, I'm, I'm playing with you. Because, we are having fun. Listen. Yeah. So when you see a Hindu and you say to him, you are a Najis, what do you mean? I call Hindu is not mentioned in the Quran. And the Quran doesn't talk no, about No, the Quran Hindus. mentioned the Hindus. You are stupid. No, it doesn't mention. Show me from the, the Quran. The Quran says, says in the mushrikeen and Najis, anyone who associate or he worship other than Allah is a mushrik. Are you stupid or what? A mushrik means anyone who associate partner with God. Okay, uh, so Christian are you saying now, you see now you are in more trouble. Are you saying to me that your God Allah, he mentioned only Christian and Jews and he forgot to mention the Hindus and he don't consider them disbelievers. So they are believers, right? And uh, listen to me, so the Quran mentioned Jews and the Christians by name. He I'm, asking you, I'm asking you, I'm asking you. When the Quran says that the Mushrikeen are Najis, that means Hindus, they can go to the to Mecca, according to you. Can they? No, they, they cannot. Why they cannot? Because the Quran says that they, the, they cannot come to Where it uh, says uh, that? Mecca. Where it says that in the Quran? That the Hindus, they cannot go to the Quran, to, to Mecca? The any unholy people, they cannot go to heaven. Yeah, where Mecca, it says in the Quran, is. where it says in the Quran that the, the Hindus cannot go to Mecca? So I told you that uh, Hindu, the word Hindu does not mention This is another question. You just said to me, in the Quran says they cannot go. You just said that. I asked you about the Hindus. You said to me, in the Quran says, no, they cannot go to Mecca. I'm asking you, where in the Quran says Hindus cannot go to Mecca? Yeah, so it says in the chapter 9, verse 28, Surah Tawbah. You're stupid, you donkey. Who... You made me lose my voice to convince you that this is about the Hindu. And now you said this is about the Hindu. So you refused me before to say this is about the Hindu. And now you are the one who chose to me the same verse we are talking about to prove this is about the Hindus. Are you joking or what? So I said that the word Hindu is not mentioned in the Stupid. Quran. No, I, I said to you that the word that the Quran says those who don't believe in the Mushrikeen, they are including the Hindu. You said no, only the Christian and the Jews. No, I didn't say that. I said Abdul, that the word Hindu but is you not are a mentioned potato in the Quran. And we are laughing. But anyway, I will continue because we need fun. So listen carefully. I, I will go back to zero. When your prophet, he tried to commit suicide, did he commit, try to commit suicide no, because he's mental or because no. he's smart? Or he was, no, you, you he, was he was controlled by Shaitan? You, you are against changing the topic. So I no, said no, that I am not the one who changed the topic. It's you who changed the topic. You went to the Bible, I went no, with you. you. You went to the Bible, I went with you, and we got you busted. And now I'm asking you. But you always, I'm asking but you, you, always jump, you. And you agree. You always and you, and, and, and you agree. And you agree that the Quran says it clearly that Jesus is holy and Muhammad is a sinner, correct? No, Quran doesn't say Muhammad is a sinner. Doesn't say Muhammad is a sinner, are you sure? Yes, the Quran doesn't say Muhammad is a sinner. Okay, if I show you that, what you will do? I said that I, I, I read a verse where it says that Muhammad was told to uh, repent. For Muhammad, but it doesn't say that he. Uh, Allah, he, he asked was Muhammad sinner. to repent, that means he's a, he's a sinner. No, because uh, it doesn't mean that you should, because Prophet Muhammad commanded that. Uh, my yeah, friend, you are, you are stupid. If you are stupid, you ask a person to repent only when you do commit sin. You are a donkey. Chapter uh, chapter no, forty eight. Read this verse for me. Go ahead. Chapter forty eight, verse number two. I'm done with kids. I have already read that. Okay. I, uh, so it says what? It says, you said to me. So that, uh, you said to me, Allah. He told Muhammad to repent. The verse says, May Allah forgive your sin. Allah may. That Allah may forgive for you what 
visited of, of your sin and what will follow and so, complete his so did Muhammad, commits, did, did Muhammad commit sin? The Quran doesn't say that he committed sin. But so Allah, he is, because... Allah making a false statement then. He accusing Muhammad of committing sin, but Muhammad never commits sin. Muhammad never committed major sin, but Prophet can make he minor sins. He did not commit sins, major like... sin. If there's a major sin and low sin and high sin, sin is sin. Yeah, but... So, did you, you repeat the... the question again, Potato? Did Muhammad commit sin? The Quran doesn't say that he committed any kind it of sin. It says in front of you. It says, may Allah forgive but your it, sin. But it says that you, you have to repent it. So you, anyone who can where repent... It says it repented, where, it says he is, where, where it says he is repented, where it says that? So it says that uh, that Allah may forgive for you. Okay, uh, hold you, on. What you... Did, you say, did you say that it says may Allah? Who is the one is talking? Allah is talking to who? Asking who? Who is saying may Allah? Allah is saying to Prophet Muhammad. Allah is saying to Muhammad, me Allah. So Allah is not the one who forgave Muhammad. There's different Allah. How many Allah you have? No. If, if I am Allah and I am saying, may Allah forgive you, that's mean I am not Allah. No, the, the, because Allah is talking about himself. He's not okay. talking about the so other. If Allah is talking about himself, how he's making a wish. He's making a wish. He is not even sure. He says, me Allah, me Allah, maybe. So me Allah. It's a request, it's supplication, it's a prayer. Allah praying to who? So are you saying that uh, this is not Allah? Is this your question? Wh why you are playing dumb now? I'm asking you. Let me repeat the question again. I will, I, will, I will say it slowly. If the one is talking is Allah, why Allah yeah. saying, me Allah, me is a possibility, it's a supplication, it's a prayer. May Allah forgive you. Like you know, you say to your brother, you say to him, may Allah forgive you, brother, because you, you are not the one who can forgive. You ask Allah, correct? So now here it says, yes. may Allah forgive you. So the one is talking, you Muslim, you claim that this is God. So God is yes. asking, uh, God, this God is asking other God to forgive Muhammad, correct? Yeah, so let me explain that to you. So when Quran says that, and Allah says that it is Allah who forgives sins, so Allah is talking about himself. It is not talking about another person or another God. Okay, you see, you just say that the Quran says it's Allah who forgives sin, and the Muslim, they say to us, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Isn't it the Bible says a, a, a thousand times that Jesus forgives sin? You strip it. Secondly, no, it, as long as Allah, it, it, shut it, up. It, it, no, long, no, you're, you're lying. You're, you're lying. Uh, Jesus, listen, Jesus, listen, Jesus listen. Jesus forgive sin. No, he forgives sin. We can show you tons of verses and you are stupid. Look, look, look. I will show you. Just, just one verse. I will show you. Give me, give me one. I will show you after we finish this one. I promise you. I promise. Give me one. Shut up, shut up. Uh, yeah. I will show you. I will show you many, not only one. So now, when yeah, Allah, okay. he says, Honest. shut up, shut up, shut up. When Allah, he says, may Allah forgive sin. That is a wish from someone to someone else. No, that this is a, he's talking about himself. It is uh, so that Allah may forgive you, uh, you for your precedent of your sin. So it is not talking about another God. He is talking about himself. How, Allah how saying, you know? How you know that he is not talking about other God when the verse says it clearly? May God, may Allah forgive your sin. If Allah is Allah all knowing? Yes. Okay, if Allah is all knowing, then he should know if he forgives sin of Muhammad or not. Yes. So what the word may stand for? May is, uh, it is a kind of dua, like uh, may Allah forgive your sin, may Allah bless you. So it is talking about that uh, when you recite verse of the Quran, you, uh, you, should, you, you should ask uh, Allah to may Allah forgive you, may Allah bless you. This okay, is but this is not, me. but this is Allah speaking supposedly, if Allah is the one is talking, yeah. how he say may Allah... <laughs> yes, I know why why he did say that. I can answer that very clearly. What? Yes, I can answer that. I, I, well, I'm waiting for you all this time. I'm putting the question. You said yeah, I can uh, answer okay. that. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Huh. Yeah, okay. So if I can, I will give you an answer. Very, I think uh, this is a very good answer. I hope you will like it. I will love so, it. I will love it for yeah. sure. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, when you will not get it, okay? I am not educated. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so when the Bible says, chapter 3, verse 16, 
Well, uh, God so loved the world. No, don't, don't, don't change. Son. We can go to the yeah. Bible after. No, we, no, can, no. we can go to the Bible. Uh, yeah, you are yeah, trying, you are trying yeah. to escape, Abdul. You are trying to escape. We know no, the game. No, no, no. no, no. Listen, I, listen, I listen, promise listen, you, I will promise you, I promise you, we will go to the Bible as much as you want. But finish this yeah. verse first. Yes, yes. I, I swear by finish, Allah. Finish, finish the verse yeah. first. Yeah. How yeah. Allah, he's saying, yes. may so, God forgive you. Yeah, so I, I swear by Allah that I will not change the topic. I am stick to the topic. Okay, so Just start, give you, start, one. you can start with the Quran and then give me the verse in the Bible, no problem. Yeah, yeah the, the, this verse is talking about himself. I mean, it is very... Uh, where very, very where is talking about himself, I'm saying to you, the God of Allah. Yes, that's, that's the, right. The, yeah, that's the, right. The God. So, okay, you are, you are the one who says to me, who forgets, uh, the one who forgives sin is only Allah, correct? Yes, so I, I'll go to that, no problem. First, no, I no, 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 just wait, just wait. So when Allah he say may forgive, is that a wish may or, Allah, or a granted? No, Allah is talking about Himself that Allah forgives sins. Okay, hold on. No, no. He it doesn't say He forgives sin. It says may that may Allah forgive you. Do Allah knew the future that He will forgive or not? See, but on the Quran is uh, I mean when Allah says that it was also meant to. Uh, recited. So when we recited, we say that may Allah forgive sins, may Allah bless. That's why Allah mentioned so that we can uh, keep, uh, we can uh, say, make supplication to Him. That's why He. So who is the make. one making supplication, Allah or Muhammad? So Allah is talking about Himself. We we will make supplication. This is why the Quran is. Uh, no, 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 no. We no. You see, the one is making the supplication here. What those words is said by who? Allah. Okay, Allah. so when you say the Quran teaches us to make supplication, this is a stupid statement because this has nothing to do with the question. The one here is making supplication is Allah Himself. Okay, so now, I, yes, I have a question, I have an answer for you, but you do not let me finish. I, I give, I need only 30 seconds if you let me finish. My, my, my friend, answer. my friend, I will give you 30 minutes. Don't change the topic. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30 30 second, I will give you, second. no, I will, we will stay until tomorrow. The one is talking yeah. there is Allah, correct? Yeah, yes. The one who used the word may is Allah, correct? Yeah, yes. Okay. Why Allah is not sure if the sin of Muhammad will be forgiven or not? So it is uh, because it was meant to be cited by us. So we are not sure. Okay, here again, you are a liar. Guys, it's meant to be cited by us. You see, this is what you said to me about when, yeah, if you have a doubt about your relief, go to the Christian. You said to me, this is for all of us. You're a liar again. This is only for Muhammad. No, this is not only for Muhammad. So we, this verse was decided, okay, decided Abdul, by us. Abdul, you say, I will give you a chance to prove me wrong and get me busted. Do you agree with any interpretation that this is only about Muhammad or this is about everybody? Listen, listen to me. So now I'm not you, going yeah, to listen. I want you to get me busted. Which interpretation agree with you? Either you are a liar, coward, you have no I, dignity. Yes. And or so this, or this, all Muslim this, scholars this, agree with you. So which scholar agree with you that this is yeah. not about Muhammad specifically? So listen to me. So okay. So this verse is is uh, talking to Muhammad. Shut up! So don't, don't give you. me your fabrication. Yeah. I'm asking you a challenge. Give me one yes, scholar. Yes, right. Shut up! Give me one scholar. He agree that this is not about Muhammad. This is because us we were recited. This is what you said to me. You said to me, this is we. You should recite it and make supplication. But the Quran doesn't say that, and you are a liar. So I'm asking you. Yes. Which interpretation yeah, says so that this is not about Muhammad? This is about all of you, Muslim reciting this so I, I, I said that this is indicating to muhammad but uh, it was meant to be uh, recited by us we, we listen, are abdul, we listen abdul again which interpretation says that this is meant to be recited by us this is not for muhammad the ab quranic bus is recited by us so why okay. do you need uh, you, are, you, are being you are being stupid again because the verse here says may allah forgive your sin so if we make it for many or to one Actually, if you make it to many, this is even more stupid because the one is talking is Allah anyway. He, Allah is not saying say. Yeah. Allah is not saying say. Allah is not saying pray like yeah. that. Allah is saying that God more forgive your sin. May forgive your sin in the past to come and the, in the past. And this is an open license for sin. Muhammad, he is, you know, receiving a supplication from his God saying, don't worry about sin. May Allah forgive your sin in the past and the one to come. So Muhammad was sinner in the back. And Muhammad is sinner in the future. So now we repeat the question. If there is any scholar agree with your statement that this is just meant to for us to recite, not meant to Muhammad? I just told you that it is indicating to Muhammad, but it we can say I'm that. I'm asking you for the last time. I'm not going to repeat my question. Don't force me to hang up on you, you idiot. 
if there is any proof of what you are saying. I just answered that. I... Yeah. If there is any proof of what you are saying, you said that, I got it. I know, because you're a liar. I'm asking you, do you accept my challenge? That every scholar agree that this is a verse was given to Muhammad and Muhammad only. Do you accept my challenge? Yeah, the, this verse was given to Muhammad. <laughs> this is not the question. See, so by... now you are saying it's given to Muhammad, so it's talking about Muhammad, not talking about you. See, well, this was revealed to Muhammad, but it, yeah, it was made again, to be forgotten by Again, everyone. you idiot. You know, the people, they say to me, why you have to use those words? Let me go back. You see, you see, you don't debate Muslim. You have to bust them. They are liars. Listen carefully. This verse we give it to Muhammad. We know that. We know that. It's not a secret, brother. He gave it to him. But the verse here is it speaking to Muhammad, saying, may Allah forgive your sin, or this is just for you to recite. Yeah, but we, uh, uh, when, uh, for example, that when we pay uh, Salah on the Nabi. Answer that, uh, the question, you like, coward. Uh, Answer the question. Yeah. Is this a verse yeah. given to Muhammad because he commits sin, or this is a verse given to you to make supplication, all of you? Because this was, this verse Don't was tell me because you Muhammad donkey. Indicating Don't him. stop Tell me because. I'm asking you a straight, straight a question. Is this verse given to Muhammad because he commits sin, and Allah wishing him to be forgiven, or this is a verse was given to all the Muslims just to recite to make a supplication. So, the Abu Quranic verse is given to Muhammad. This is but, not the uh, question. Can, uh, if, if this is not the question. We know that the Quran given to this Muhammad. Is the no, this is not the question, and this is not the answer. I'm asking you: When Muhammad received this verse, was it about his sin? His sin, his own sin. Yes or no? Yes, I already told you that uh, prophets can make minor sin, but they do not okay. make. Uh, so why you are arguing, you sin. idiot? So Muhammad, he made sin. So the verse was taken to Muhammad himself, correct? Maybe minor sin, but uh, that's not the point. Because stop the prophet, being, stop, stop being, in, stop being stupid. Nowhere in the verse says minor sin. Are you adding words to the Quran now? No, I'm not adding, but we okay. know that. Uh, so now you are adding, no, you are adding, because nowhere it says minor sin. Now let's go back to zero. So now as long as we agree Muhammad, he commits sin, and you are trying to make him better, look better, because he made a minor sin, which is very funny and silly. But the verse here saying, may Allah for your, forgive your sin in the past and in the future. Allah, when he say the word may, he is speaking to who? You keep repeating to me, it says that to recite. Where it says that, it says to you, Allah, he said, Allah, he said, Allah, he said, that God Allah will is, forgive your sin. Allah is, Allah, Allah is talking about himself, that may Allah, that may okay. Allah forgive How, your sin. Okay, I will that go may. with you, I will go with you step by step. Guys, Allah talking about himself, so why he is using the word may? May because it is uh, meant to be cited by us. So when we cite, we Here can we say Here we go may, again, may you see, and they, they say to me, why you lose your patience? It's meant to cite by us. Get out of here, you donkey. It's meant to cite by us. And they say to me, you need to have patient. Brother, it's meant to cite by us. That's mean. The whole verse is stupid. Because if the verse is meant to be cited by us, then the statement of Allah is stupid. He should say that may the people ask for your forgiveness. And the Arabic means it's a stupid Arabic. If Allah, he wanted you, you Muslims, to ask for forgiveness of Muhammad, that's even more horrible. That means he's not even convinced. Pray for me, pray, pray. Ask me, ask me, maybe I'll forgive Muhammad. Go ahead, ask me, you know. Look what a stupid this argument is. They are in total disaster. And then this coward, he said, that there is nowhere in the Bible it says that Jesus forgives sin. When we have tons of verses, go and your sin is forgiven or are forgiven. He even forgives sin to groups, not only individuals. And then the Jews, if we go to Mark chapter 2, you can read it from 1 to 12 or even more. You will see that when he said you go and your sin is forgiven, the Jews, they said, why does this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sin but God alone?
Go on, your sin is forgiven. A very famous statement of Jesus. It's a fingerprint of Jesus. In the stupid Quran, it says, Who forgives sin save Allah? <clears throat> Who forgives sin save Allah? So, the false god of Muhammad, he tried to copy Jesus' words and tried to replace Jesus to be the god. And yet, yet you will see Abdul coming to you and says, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. And as you see, your God himself cannot even forgive the sin of Muhammad. Because if he can, he don't make a wish. He say, go on, your sin is forgiven. Look how straight the word. He do not need to say, me, God forgive your sin. Do you see Jesus here saying, may God forgive your sin? Did you ask yourself how Jesus, where he got his authority from? A prophet, he cannot forgive my sin. A disciple of Jesus. He is a disciple of Jesus. He is under the authority of Jesus. Just because he is under the authority of Jesus, he was able to, go, to do miracles. But the only one who forgives sin is Jesus, my friend. And your Quran got busted. Who forgives sin except Allah, the Quran say? Well, the fact Quran, when we prove it, Quran, make it clear, that Allah cannot forgive sin. Because if he can, he will not say the word me. And if you say to me, Vivi, the word is not right, that means Allah don't speak good Arabic, and that will make him not God again. When the Quran says, who can forgive sin? Save Allah. Did the Quran make a mistake? In chapter 3, verse 138, 135? Well, the answer to the Quran, who forgives sin save Jesus? Allah cannot. As you see, Allah, Aka Muhammad, making supplication, and this is why this poor Abdul, he is trying to cover up to the stupid statement in Arabic. May Allah forgive your sin. Well, if Allah is talking, Allah he forgave. You do not need me. He say what Jesus said. Go and your sin are forgiven. Go. Same in, the, in Matthew chapter 9. Go and your sin is forgiven. It's all over the Bible. And this is why the Jews, they made it clear that this person is claiming to be God. Who, who, who can forgive sin save God? This is what the Jews said to him. They said to themselves. They said he is dishonoring God. Who beside God forgive sin? Or can forgive sin? So the Jews understood very well what he said. He is literally forgiving sin. And you know, talk is cheap. I can say to you, go and your sin is forgiven. I can claim to be God. But as you see, Jesus, he support his words with act. So he made the blind see. He made the one who cannot walk, walk. He make miracles nobody can do. In the top of that, he forgives sin. And actually, he is the one who said to me, go and read about the lady uh, who is not a Jew. And he says he called her as dogs and Jesus being racist. But you will find that even that woman who is not from the Jews, 
because she is a believer, because she is she accepted to humble him herself in the front of the Lord. She bowed down to him. She go down and she says, even dogs, they deserve the crumbs, Lord. So she was not insulted from the word dogs just to get the mercy of Jesus. And what Jesus said to her, your faith is great. And right in the moment, Jesus, he healed her daughter. Even her daughter is not even there. Do you see the difference between Christianity and Islam? The guy, the coward, he denied that he heard the word Najis. I never heard of it. What the word Najis mean? This is the same word Sheikh Uthman he used with our brother, you know, good God logic, YouTube. He told him, don't touch the Quran. Why? Because you are Najis. If I am God logic in that time and I am with him, I will say, your prophet is Najis. Let us see who is the Najis. The Najis is the one who jump in the sewage. And that is Muhammad. The one who take a shower and do ablution with dead dogs and women blood from period. And that is Muhammad. And yet the Muslim, they say to us, you are Najis. You know, they think they are superior. They think they are higher. They think they are, uh, uh, you know, they are the supremacist. This is why Muhammad, he told them that you are the best of mankind and how they are the best of mankind. You go and you bring them and put the chains around their necks. You put the chains where? Around our necks. Just to try it, Muslims, and you will see. Hmm? This is your filthy prophet making a clear statement that Islam is a white Arab supremacist and the Muslim, they are the best of mankind. And why? Because they are going to bring every non-Muslim with the chains around their necks. Let's find you the hadith, give me a second. Do you see it? And this is Al-Bukhari. The Muslim, they say to you, the Quran confirmed that we are the best of mankind for the benefit of mankind. They fool you with the word benefit. Benefit? What benefit? What does that mean? Maybe the Muslims, they will feed us. Maybe the Muslims, they will make cars. Maybe the Muslims will help us. Maybe the Muslims will help the poor. What the Muslims are saying to you, we are the best to Allah because we are going to bring you like a dog. We are going to put a leech in your neck. We've been given authority to enslave you, to torture you. And this is why I don't like the debate of some Christians when a Muslim he speak. Anything he say, you have to stop him. Fact to check. Don't let him go. Yeah, yeah, okay, and you know, and, and he want to jump, he want to change topic. They are professional in lying. And if you are a person, I mean, this is me, and it's still the person, this person who was trying hard to escape. Anything he says to you, do fact check immediately. He cannot back up what he is saying. He is just doing duct taping. Can we read interpretation? He don't want to read interpretation. If there's any scholar agree with you, he don't care. I'm telling you, let me answer you. Give me 30 seconds. And then the funny is, the Muslim, they became expert in the Bible when they do not even know their book. Let us see if we have more people trying to call. I see some people trying. Um... Are trying to call somebody he texts me but look like he is not online maybe okay let's try again
give it one more try if it doesn't work we switch to from person okay mr marino we could not call you uh let us see this person here <clears throat> hello yes my friend you are live on air go ahead you brother in perfect man to show us uh, what Islam is, uh, lying, <laughs> uh, quoting uh, wrong verses from the Bible. Uh, can I say uh, to Matthew 15, uh, 22? Okay. Or something. Um, uh, he called us uh, uh, this verse, sorry for my English, uh, and, and behold, a woman of Canaan. So, um, we must understand who, who are the people from Canaan. So uh, this, uh, these are uh, the cursed uh, people from Noah. Noah have cursed his son. And uh, this, for, uh, this is um, especially to know that the Jews and the people from Canaan are, uh, don't like each other. They are enemies. They are enemies. G yes. Yeah. Uh, because they are cursed one. So that shows us how our Lord Jesus, he knew that. And he don't want to speak with the woman at first because he tested her um, uh, belief. Yes. And now she said, O oh, son of David, that means she knows who he is. Yeah. And, he ob and uh, she obey him. She, so she knew uh, he was the Messiah. And this poor guy who called you, uh, Take this word for us. So, so um, when someone knows the scriptures, like we Christians, we must learn every day our scriptures so we can um, checkmate him with this verse. And what is the problem with her, with this woman? Can you explain, please? What the problem with this uh, woman? The problem is what the devil, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, so why she is coming to Jesus? I mean, if the problem is the devil, who is Jesus then? What do you think? Yes, because, uh, like I say to you, she knows that. She knows he is the son of, of David, the Messiah. Yeah. She knows that uh, she hear what uh, Jesus, uh, our Lord, uh, do every, anywhere. And she knew she can heal uh, his uh, 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 child. She knew that he is the one who can defeat the devil, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not just, uh, you know, because I can go to you. And I can ask you, can you give me uh, 10 dollars, help me please, I need to eat, I, you know. She is not yeah. asking for food, she is not asking for uh, water, she is not asking for uh, somebody to carry some stuff with her, she is asking for the impossible. Yes, exactly. Which, which is to fight the devil, because, and obviously exactly. she give up, no, no doctors can help, and she is yeah. not even from the Jews. So she came exactly. to Jesus because she knew that this is the only person he can yes. do what nobody yes. can do. You know, um, of course, uh, exactly. And uh, um, that shows us that um, a woman, uh, that uh, she is not a Jew. He is, he is from uh, the cursed people of Canaan. She knew that, that Jesus is the Messiah. So she go to him. And she knew he, uh, a Jew will never will speak to a, a woman or a man uh, from Canaan. But she knew it. She knew it. This is the Messiah. He can fight the devil. Yeah. And this poor guy who... And not only that, actually, this is confirmed that if you are from the... Because the Muslims, they say that Jesus, he came to the Jews only, right? Yes. But Jesus, he said in different places that I have flocks in, in other than this... Uh, I have sheep and other this uh, this place. So here we see one of those sheep. She is not a Jew. She is not from the children of Israel. And yet exactly. she believes in Jesus and her faith is accepted by Jesus himself. Not by the disciple. This is the Messiah himself. So when she, she you know, she called him Lord and, and Jesus uh, saw how much she is really 
uh, her faith is great. He said to her yes. clearly, with the clear words, your faith is great. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Because he knew, he, he knew that. He knew that, that she will come before she even come to him. Yeah. But, but, the, Lord. but the important so, is that if Jesus is just a person who came to the Jews, why he will say to this woman, your faith is great, and why he would do what she's asking for. That's yeah. mean you do not need to be from the Jews to believe in Jesus and your prayer can be answered. Yes. This is a prayer and, uh, of a woman. She is a, she is a praying in the presence of the, of the Lord. And it doesn't matter really if it is him in person there or he is up in heaven. She humbled yeah. herself. She bowed down to him and she called him my Lord. And she yes. lowered herself and she did not feel that she is offended because she is speaking to her God. She said, even though dogs, they get some crumbs. Can I get some of your crumbs? Exactly. So and this uh, shows us wonderful when Muslims try to uh, um, to, uh, to uh, take out of context our verses, and we know we can prove them. Uh, we prove the verses with other verses from the Bible, so we uh, can uh, um, put them in the corner, like you do when you talking to the people. Uh, you know exactly what they want and you call them uh, in a second. Yeah. Like and actually, in the same chapter he chose for us, it says that the women, she worshipped him. You see? It says, he knew that. Yeah. He, uh, and, and for sure, I mean, do you think that this, ver this guy, he caught the verse there, he did not read the chapter, but they are deceivers. He wants yes. only, only that verse to be read. He didn't want the rest because the rest will prove that Jesus is God. And Jesus, yes. and Jesus forgives sin, and Jesus can heal, and what kind of power he have, you know? And he knew what yeah. in, in her, in her, he knew what is in her mind, and the women she worshipped him. And the Muslim, they say to us, Brother Tatar, I tell you, to tell me what the Bible, the ten days, the ten, I'm God worship me. You know? Exactly. When she worshipped him, and Jesus should say to her, why you are worshipping me? Stop, don't do that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because if, yeah. you, if you worship a person and he is not God and he is humble, he will say, please, don't, don't do that, right? He will say, stop, don't do that. I'm nobody, right? But Jesus, he did not say to her, don't worship me. She worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. And after she worshipped him, he yeah. did what she's asking for, not before. Yes, exactly. So if, no. if worshipping Jesus is sin, then he should be more upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, All right, uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, when we uh, look at the uh, Hadith, uh, for example, uh, where uh, the poor Jibril comes to Muhammad in the cave, he says, he uh, read. Yeah. You, he has, uh, uh, yeah. and Muhammad said, I, uh, I cannot read. He squeezed him three times. So uh, someone who has, uh, who is reading this must, uh, must, uh, uh, Ask us, uh, himself, uh, did Allah do know that or Jibril? Who is the stupid here? Yeah, you know, the, the whole thing doesn't make sense because, and not only that, yeah. if, if Muhammad says to you, I cannot read, so why you continue squeezing him? And if he, yes. if, if he meant repeat, he is, using the wrong, he is using the wrong word because read is not repeat. And, yes. and if Muhammad, he says to him, I cannot read, he just said what he wanted to say because he told him. If, if, yeah. it's, if it's meant to repeat, he just repeated what he said. He just said one word. So if it's meant to repeat, this is stupid because Muhammad can repeat, anyone can repeat. If it's meant to read, it's stupid too because he did not give him a book. And even if he gave him a book, Muhammad did not know how to read. So the whole story is stupid. Yes, uh, uh, it will be a miracle when you really squeeze him and uh, then he can read. Exactly. Here we go. Jesus, he said to the, the blind man, the, the, guy, the guy who can, cannot walk, walk, get in your bed and go. He walk, yeah. you know? All right, exactly. my friend. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Yes. God bless you. Thank Bye. You. Let us see if we have a